This is a reading for all four of clubs birth cards. This is the shooting star spread. It's a three card spread about unblocking or heightening your creative flow. I like to take cards that spring from the deck while shuffling and that can take a while. So I've already done that and laid out the cards. There's no wrong way to choose the cards. This is just what works for me. The uh, first row here it represents your inner and outer resources. Second row is about tapping into what motivates you. And the third row is what Source would like to share as guidance. So let's start with the first row here and tap into your inner and outer resources. In other words, um, what comes easily to you? I think of this row as like the south node position in a Cards of Truth birth chart. It's past life stuff that you bring with you into this life. It can also reflect what comes so easily to you that it's possible you take it for granted. So the Queen of Cubs, this is spot on for the Four of Clubs people that I know. They are very stable as a foundation, fours and very knowledge seeking too. The Queen here also indicates a restlessness, a high energy restlessness. You know, all clubs have um, restlessness to some degree anyway, but when you get to the Queen and the King, it's very active. So this is interesting for the four. Um, next we have for the first card is a five of wands. This is um, speaking about being comfortable in competitions. So it's, um, it's finding rewards and satisfaction in challenging yourself and others. Also that you don't back down <laughs> from a conflict. Good for you. Just step right in there. And next we have the Seven of Wands. This indicates that you're ready for the next challenge. Wands are about using your intellect to create a bigger and better existence in life. Also, it's about having a spiritual guidance connotation because of the Seven. I won't go into that here, but you can find information on the number Seven in many, many places. So the last in this lineup, we have the Queen of Cups. This is all about nurturing and caring as much for yourself as for others. A strong sense of knowing oneself here for sure. She's also the creative queen and highly intuitive. Nice resource to be drawing from. I'd say you must have a big heart and strong intuitive temperance here. It would appear that you are very balanced and are heartened by the rewards that come from having a quick wit and not afraid to use it. <laughs> very nice. Okay, so second row is all about what is motivating you at this time. Um, so if this is resonating with any of you, it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a big hurdle to get over, actually. The nine, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Jack of Diamonds here, this is called the Salesman's Card. It's, um, it's a wonderful card to have. I have it as my ecliptic, so it's, um, for me, it's a learning curve um, about promotion and selling and figuring out the right way to do that. It's, um, like I said, all about developing and learning to use your salesman skills for furthering your creative talents. Um, but the flip side of that, that the twisted thing is that um, it can be coming from a need to impress. So you've got to get a handle on that. And if that's the case, find a way to deepen the experience for yourself and for your customers, your clients. Um, you have such an abundance of knowledge and gumption up here to, to, to draw from that you don't need to add the flourishes if that's what you're thinking of doing. Um, it can come off as egotistical. And basically, you're here to help someone Right? That's all the sales things is. 
So the next card is maybe a clue to that because it speaks of no pain, no gain. Yeah, we're all motiv motivated by the discomfort and the um, effort of getting out of discomfort. <laughs> and this says it'll play a part in getting you moving. So maybe it's uh, getting a handle on, on how to promote yourself without, without all of that darker negative side to it. So next we have the Ten of Wands. Now, this is about reaping what you sow from hard work and stress you can see the, the bundle of sticks on his back. Yeah, this is uh, saying to me that you getting out from under the burden on your back will bring a lightness of being. It, and once that happens, it's going to create a clean wave of creativity to wash over you. Just uh, make selling part of the art. Death. I know it sounds scary, but it actually it pretty much follows suit here because it speaks of shedding those burdens and the heartache like a bad habit. <laughs> Make room for something much more positive. It'll happen. Yeah, learn this skill and this will disappear. And I say that because this, it uh, actually makes me think if you find a relaxed way to sell or promote um, your craft, letting the craft sell itself, so to speak, it's by taking a softer hand, as in helping a client help themselves to make a decision about making a purchase. That's what um, I've learned to do in the gallery, and it's a much quieter, much less harsh feeling, and it really adds a measure of relaxing to the whole thing. Pleasant, actually. <laughs> it feels good about it when you're done. And so do they. So Source would like to share the Two of Hearts. Now this is the love and artistic connection that Source says is coming. Um, Source would also encourage you by helping you find exactly the thing you need to do that. You just have to get through this process, right? Shedding the emotionally negative dead weight around selling. And um, yeah, so how to do that? The star in reverse. Source is saying that you'll find your answers as to how to shed that unhelpful way of thinking about whatever your burden is with the sales techniques, but unblocking your communication with spirit, right? Always. So do whatever you need to do to get there. Some of that self-nurturing, find humor in the struggle, right? Learn some new techniques and take your power back, <laughs> right? Because look what's next, strength, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, this is your power. It's so good to see this card show up for you. You are being reminded that you have the inner strength and the will, the tenacity to do what you have to do, only with kindness and right action. It'll be there for you. The last card, love this. It's called the well. This is one of the cards that the Ethereal Visions deck added the other is the artist card. So this is the first spread that one of them has showed up in, and I'm so glad it's here for you because this speaks of having a well of creative inspiration and ideas to draw from. I think once you start down this path, you're going to find your, your way. So you'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make a hell of a fun story one of these days. Let me know how it turns out. <laughs> Interestingly, for the final card that Source guides me to, I find by moving my, my pendulum across the spread out deck of the soul's journey, um, it can take a while too, so uh, to save time, I've already done that. You won't believe it, <laughs> or maybe you will, because Source is so there for me. <laughs> It has brought you the adversity card. 
Yep, this is the last thought to ponder. It says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, right? Practice makes perfect, maybe. <laughs> Your entire row of motivation speaks to this uh, deal, some sort of ordeal, right? I think the main message here is that part of the test is learning to receive rather than give too much. It's a two-way street to sell. You listen as much, well, basically more than, than you speak. You listen to what the client wants, and then you go about helping them realize that what they're looking at is exactly what they want. It's, uh, there's a lot to be said for relaxing and, in, and adopting a gentler way. So I'm going to put this right next to the salesman card because it, uh, I believe, speaks directly to it. Well, I hope all of you Four of Clubs out there found this interesting and helpful. If you're not a Four of Clubs, you might check out your Cards of Truth chart, to your birth chart, to see if the Four of Clubs is present. If it is, you can contemplate this reading with that placement in mind. Happy creating!